paano mag-add ng integers. Tara't pag-usapan natin yan dito. Manood, makinig, mag-enjoy at matuto. What's up guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Humor PH. Andito na naman ang pabibo ninyong guro na punong-puno ng humor and willing to give you more. Andito ako para tulungan ka na tulungan ang sarili mong matuto sa pamamagitan ng math pinadaling, math pinasaya, at math pinaexciting na mathematics lessons. Ngayon nga pag-uusapan natin kung paano nga ba mag-add ng integers. Huwag na huwag mo tong palalampasin at huwag na huwag mo rin palalampasin ang pag-subscribe and ang pag-click ng notification bell para updated ka sa mga videos natin ay upload pa dito sa Youmore PH. Without further ado, let's start our discussion in 3, 2, 1, go! Hi there everyone! Welcome sa ating integer series. We are done with the first part of this which is multiplying and dividing integers. Ngayon naman, pag-uusapan natin is adding integers or kung paano ba mag-add ng integers. Actually, yung operations of integers came from the concept of the number line. Kung saan magbibilang tayo to the right, magbibilang tayo to the left. But I choose to focus more of the rules. Kaya, dito sa series natin, we are going to just focus on the different rules and how you are going to solve integers. So let's start now for the addition itself. Yan, so, rules muna tayo. So, again, please, huwag niyong pagsasama-samahin yung mga rules kasi hindi yun pwedeng magkabali-baliktad. Kung ano yung kay multiply and divide, stay lang siya doon. Doon lang yan, kagamitin. So, for the rule of addition, meron tong dalawang case. Diba? Nabanggit ko na sa inyo dati, or last time, that kailangan mo talagang itanong sarili mo lagi once you are doing the operations on integers, kung same sign ba yung na plus, na minus, divide and multiply, or different sign or opposite sign. Lagi talaga yung partner ng integer. So, sa case 1, ng addition of integers, ganito ang gagawin natin. These are the steps. Number 1, we have to just add the numbers. Add the numbers kahit uh, regardless of the signs muna. Ganun siya. Then, copy the sign. So, later, mas maintindihan nyo yan kapag may example na tayo. In case 1, kapag same sign yung numbers, same na positive, same na negative, ang gagawin mo lang is to just add those numbers, then you have to copy the sign, whatever the sign is, kung negative man yan or positive. Next, case number 2. So for case number 2, naman yung may different sign. Ano yung different? May plus, or may positive, may negative, or may negative, may positive. Basta magkaiba yung dalawa, or mag-opposite yung sign, dun mo to gagamitin. Ano naman ang gagawin? Ayan. Dito, you have to subtract the bigger and the smaller number regardless again of the sign. Bigger, then kasunod si smaller. Then after that, you have to copy the sign of the bigger number. Ano yung naging sign ng bigger number? Kakopihin natin siya. Okay. Yeah, para mas maintindihan. Let's start now discussing case number 1. Kapag same sign. Add the numbers and copy the sign. Let's have example. 3 plus 7. And so, paano siya naging uh, nag-fall under ng case 1? Same sign. Simply because they are same sign. Diba? 3 is positive, 7 is positive. Pareho silang positive. Therefore, it will fall under same sign. So, kung same sign na yung dalawa, then, these are the steps that we are going to follow. Ang gagawin mo lang, i-add natin yung dalawang numbers. Ayan. So, 3 plus 7, that is what? Is 10. Tama? Then, then, copy the sign. Ano yung sign na tinutukoy nito? Kung ano yung sign ng dalawang numbers na to? Siya yung magiging sign ng result natin. So, since the sign of 3 is positive, same as 7 is also positive, then, the answer should always be, or should also be, positive. So, dapat positive yan. And take note, ang positive, kahit hindi mo na siya ilagay, may plus sa unahan. Ayan. Ayan. Another. Negative 3 plus negative 7. Ayan. So, same sign ba to? Of course. 
Because yung 3 ay negative, 7 is negative, pareho silang negative. It will fall under case number 1, and we're going to follow the rules. Or yung step na add the numbers and copy the sign, regardless muna of the sign. Regardless, 3 muna. So, 3 plus 7, that is 10. Tama? Regardless of the sign muna tayo. Tapos, saka natin isisingit yung sign dito sa second step, which is, you have to copy the sign. Ano yung sign ng dalawa? Nung eto, yung first number and second number. Negative. So, kung negative yan, dapat yung sagot mo ay negative din. Ayun. Sana malinaw yon. Again, ipa-plus lang natin yan regardless of the sign. Then, saka mo isisingit yung sign pag sa final answer na. Kung ano yung sign ng pinagpa-plus mo, ay magiging sign ng final answer. Pag same sign. Ayun. Next. This one, negative 10 plus negative 15. Of course, this will fall under same sign. Kasi nga, si 10 ay negative, si 15 ay negative. So, pareho silang negative. Again, iba plus mo lang siya regardless of the sign. 10 plus 15, that is 25. Then, si 25, dapat kapareho niya yung kanyang pinanggalingan. So, pareho dapat ng sign nitong dalawa. Kung negative yung pinanggalingan nito, dapat negative din yung sagot. So, the answer, there will be negative 25. So, that's for case number 1. Ayan. So, let's go with case number 2 naman. Huwag kakalimutan si case 1. Diyan lang siya, pwede nga flat. Case number 2 kapag different yung sign. Subtract the bigger and smaller number. Ayan. So, regardless of the sign, baka kasi malito kayo dito, bakit mas bigger yung negative number? Okay. Eh, Lesser yun, syempre, kasi negative nga siya. No. Regardless of the sign. So, this one, regardless of the sign tayo. Kung ano yung makita mong number na mas mataas, then kunin mo yun. Regardless of the sign. Then, ang susunod na gagawin, kung ano yung sign ng higher number, siya ang, or bigger number, siya ang kokopyahin natin. So, actually, ang talagang rule dito is yung uh, kunin yung sign of the highest absolute value. Ganun. Pero hindi ko na siya minention kasi nga uh, baka hindi pa kaya familiar on the absolute value itself. So, hindi lang tayo mag-focus kay bigger and smaller. At least, mas madali siyang intindihin. Ayan. So, negative 15 plus 3. So, ito. This will fall under different sign. Kasi, technically speaking, so, ito naman ay negative. Then, yung isa ay positive. So, negative, positive, magkaiba ng sign or opposite ang sign. Therefore, we're going to apply this one. Ayan. Subtract the bigger and the smaller number. Regardless of the sign. So, regardless, 13 sa 3. Diba? Mas mataas si 13. Huwag mo munang pansinin yan. I-subtract mo lang yung dalawa. Yung 13 sa yung 3. Kahit plus ito, eh, ang nasa rule, i-subtract. So, subtract mo yan. So, 13. So, dito tayo. 13, siya ang bigger. Laging bigger ang mauuna. Minus natin yung smaller, which is 3. Regardless yung sign ng dalawa. Then, ano ang mangyayari? 13 minus 3 is 10. So, si 10, pwede mo nang isulat dito sa final answer. Ayan. Pero tentative, hindi pa lang yan. Hindi pa natin yan sure kung saan nga ba yung sagot. Bakit? Mayroon pa tayong step number 2, which is yung copy the sign. Ibig sabihin, Kung ano yung sign ng bigger number, itong 13 na to. Yung 13 na yan, babalikan mo siya doon. Kung ano yung naging sign itong itaas, siya yung magiging sign ng final answer natin. Balik tayo kay 13, this one, negative siya. Kung negative yan, dapat yung sagot mo ay negative. Kasi nga, copy the sign of the bigger number. Now, bigger number is 13, sign ni 13 ay negative, Final answer is negative. Ganun siya. Ito pa, para mas maanawaan. Yan, 5 plus negative 16. Ang una mong gagawin, ayan, different sign yan, syempre. Positive si 5, negative si 16. Then, step number 1 tayo. Subtract the bigger and the smaller number. Ano yung bigger, regardless of the sign? 16. Ayan. Minus yung 5. Okay, kahit magkabaliktad yan, basta yung bigger ang uunahin mo, regardless of the sign. Ayan. So, 16 minus 5, that would give us 11. Ayan. So, isulat mo na si 11 dito sa final answer natin. But, 
tentatively because we're still going to analyze for our step number 2 kung ano nga ba ang sign ng 11 na sagot natin. So, bigger number, abot itong nasa taas natin, 16, babalikan mo yung sign ng 16 doon sa original na uh, pinaplus natin. And ang sign ni 16 dito ay negative. Ibig sabihin, dapat yung sagot natin ay negative. Kasi nga, copy the sign of the bigger number. So, negative 11. Yan po siya. Yan, isa pa. Last one. 12 plus negative 8. Ayan, so, subtract si bigger and smaller. So, si 12. Siyempre, minus 8, regardless of the sign ng dalawa. 12 minus 8. 4. Copyin natin si 4 doon. Tentatively, 4 muna ang sagot natin. Pero, i-analyze natin kung ano nga bang sign yung bigger number na 12. Ano ba ang sign ni 12? Walang nakalagay. And kapag walang nakalagay, that means it's positive. Ibig sabihin, dapat yung 4 ay positive. Maglalagay pa ba tayo ng plus? Kahit wag na. Kasi nga, that's automatic positive. So, the answer here will be positive 4. Ayun. So, we're done with the rules of addition of integers. Now, it's your turn naman. Kung kailangan mong balikan yung discussion natin, you may do that. Para makuha mo yung nasa humor drill natin. And if you are ready, let's get to our humor drill. It's your turn. Then you have to answer this your own. Kung kailangan mo ng paper and pencil, do that. Kung kaya mo tang mental do that. Okay. So, I'll pause for a while. Then I'll get back to you after. Kung kailangan mo ng longer time, pause mo lang yung video. Alright, your timer starts. Now. Alright, that's enough. So, let's get to our answer. Let's answer this. Ayun. So, kailangan natin alam. Siyempre, balikan natin yung mga cases. So, sa case 1, same sign. Add the numbers, copy the sign. Then, pag different sign yung pinag-a-add, subtract natin yung bigger and smaller, then copy the sign of the bigger number. Ayun. So, let's start looking at the first given. 13 plus 17. Let's analyze first. Saan bang case to magpo-fall? Is it case 1 or case number 2? Si 13 ay positive, si 17 ay positive. So, same. So, case 1 tayo. So, we'll apply the two steps for case number 1. Okay. Case number 1, sabi, add the numbers. So, 13 plus 17, that's 30. Then, copy the sign. Kung ano yung sign ng pinagmulan, 30, kukopyahin natin. So, 13 is positive, 17 is positive, therefore, 30 is positive. Ganun po ang same sign or case number 1. So, the answer here is 30. Next. So, si negative 15 plus 11, saan namang case yan? So, yung unang number natin is negative, pangalawa is positive 11. So, mag different or opposite. May isang negative, may isang positive, this will fall under case number 2, which is different sign. So, Kung different sign, apply natin itong dalawa. Subtract the bigger and smaller number, and copy the sign of the bigger number. Ano ba yung small bigger dito, regardless of the sign? So, 15. Na minus natin yan. Pag mo na mo nang pansinin. So, 15 minus 11. Ilan yun? 4. So, 4. Now, 15 minus 11, ibig sabihin si 15 yung nauna. Ano ba yung sign ni 15? Yung bigger number. Negative. So, that's negative. Four. Next number three. Negative 23 plus negative 4. This is case 1. Kasi nga, pareho silang negative. Negative yung una, negative yung pangalawa. Apply natin si uh, 
is number 1, which is same sign. So add the numbers regardless of the sign first. 23 plus 4, that is 27. So si 27, hindi pa rin yan final answer. Kailangan kapareho niyang sign ng mga magulang niya. So copy natin yung sign nitong dalawa. Negative. Negative yung dalawa, negative yung final answer. So the answer here will be negative 27. The last number, 12 plus negative 34. This is positive, this is negative, so different sign. So, apply tayo ng case number 2. Subtract the bigger and the smaller number. So, alin ang bigger? 34. Or regardless of the sign kasi tayo. So, 34 ang bigger. Minus yung 12. 34 minus 12 is 22. Right? So, 22. Pero sa 22, tentative pa rin yan. We are not sure of the sign of 22. Now, since si 34 ang naging bigger natin, nung nag-subtract tayo, Therefore, kung ano yung sign ni 34 here sa original equation natin, kailangan mo siyang kopyahin. So, si negative 34, magiging negative 22 din yung sagot. Kasi nga, naka-base a bigger number yung sign na magiging sagot. So, the answer here is negative 22. Congratulations! I know nakuha mo to ng maayos at naging malinaw sa'yo kung paano nga ba mag-add ng integers. And please do share this to your friends para naman Tuto din sila kung paano ito gagawin. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you again in our next video. Bye-bye! Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and learned something today. Huwag mo sanang kalimutang mag-subscribe. Hmm? Subscribe na? Sa channel natin para sa more videos pa na i-upload. And don't also forget that you deserve more. You can learn more. And you can be more. Hashtag you more pH. Bye bye. See you in our next video.